Osoje, who was ex-Nigerian Scrabble captain, has been killed by Hesbin. The death of the 55-year-old was confirmed by Scrabble Federation official Hakim Semola. Nigerian sporting fraternities have been thrown into deep mourning following the shocking demise of the country's former captain of the Scrabble national team, Team Paul Soje. According to the reports gathered around, Paul Soje was adopted by suspected S-men in Ondo State, who later sent him to a journey of no return. His body was said to have been found inside the bush in Idwani, or say local government in Ondo State on Tuesday, September 1st. Paul Soje's younger brother, Chris, was kidnapped in which huge amount of money was demanded for him to be released. Nigerians Nigerian Scrabble captain, however, got the money asked for by the adopters and decided to go into the bush alone, as instructed by the kidnappers. Akin Tunde Akin Shemola, who is the chairman of the Nigerian Scrabble Federation Public City Committee, confirmed the death of Paul Soje. Chris was going for his uncle's funeral in Okwagbe. Delta State on August 28th when he was kidnapped at Ifo, Undo State. The Fulani men demanded 100 million naira but later reduced it to 1 million naira and his wife Flora and friends rallied round to raise the ransom. Then his elder brother Paul and a friend took the ransom to them, yet the Fulani men murdered the two of them. Chris has not been found and the kidnappers have stopped communicating with the family. Akinse Mola explained. Posoji ex Nigerian Scrabble captain. Okay. And meanwhile, earlier, Bao reporters had reported how Nigerian footballer fraternities were once again be thrown into the money following the shocking death of former Super Eagles defender Ajibade Babalade, the 48 year old, who was known for his superb defending skills during his active playing time in the Super Eagles died in Ibadan, Oyo State on Friday night, September 4th. According to the reports gathered, the former shooting stars of Ibadan captain suffered cardiac arrest and was rushed to the University College Hospital where he died. Ajibade Babalade was among the Super Eagles players who won bronze at the 1992 African Cup of nations in Senegal. The disease started his professional club, car club career and stationary stores of Lagos in 1999 before several stints at 3SC helping them reach the final of the CAF Champions League in 1996. How this happened is something, 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 something we cannot even talk about. You know, this is not part of the story, but the main thing here is that see how this so maybe they will say maybe an alleged a full learning whatever you know in that area they've been operating whether it is you know that area there was a i think whether it was it is you know or so where this uh affair fair is a a daughter uh, was what well, life was taken as well and police they were telling us of oh there was nothing of such there was nothing like that they should forget it it's unfortunate meaning that these people are still operating there in this at this age and time in the twenty first in the twenty first century, we are still experiencing this kind of a thing. When this thing happened last year with the professionalities uh, daughter, the Afeni Ferris uh, leader, everybody thought maybe that would be the end. And believe you me, it's been happening on a very daily basis. Even if we talk about it on a very daily basis, it's, it's an understatement. Uh, even it's like a, every minute these things are happening. They are just happening. When the president will be talking, he will say, oh, it is not this, it is not this. Whatever it is, I don't even care. Whether somebody who was asking you the question or you that you are answering the question, you are answering it well. But the issue is that lives are being lost. And what are you doing about these lives? That is where the problem comes in. How can somebody sit down and be comfortable and be hearing all of this? I don't even know whether that is how all of them do. That's how all of them behave. They don't care because it is not a... Their immediate family, it is not their children, it is not their wife, it is not their pe the people around them. So maybe that's why they are, they, are, they, are, they are less concerned. Because I see no reason why these people will have this, if they really they have conscience. Not to talk of this thing is really rampant. It's very, very rampant. It's happening. Every now and then it's happening. It's a, it has become normal thing. Once, once you hear this kind of thing, you say, okay, oh, yeah, sorry. 
Everybody moves on. Oh my goodness. When you hear this kind of a thing that, you know, it's cause for sober reflection for a country. But now, because it's not as if maybe people themselves are not uh, interested or they are not, uh, they don't have that conscience. But because if the government that is saddled with that responsibility is not doing anything, you see the individuals that would do it. And that's why you see or hear people saying that, oh, let them, you have, you have to defend yourself, you have to do this, you have to defend, do that. Now, tell me whether these people will be arrested. The, even the ones that they told us that uh, this full and yes, mean that they took the life of the Afeni Ferris uh, leader's daughter. They told us that time they were arrested. Ask us today now where the something meaningful or tangible has been done to them. Nothing has been done. And some people are of the opinion that forget it. They will release them. They just want to make it seem as if, oh, these people are being arrested or they are being captured in one way or the other. Nothing of that nature you are going to hear. So I don't know why delay or maybe the investigation is always delayed. I mean, why when they, they commit that atrocity, it is a well-known fact that this thing really happened. This thing really happened. And why will it take such a long time? They will not be using all this, uh, what is it called? They call it uh, technicalities to delay or delay that is in the way we can really understand. To delay all these things and will not get to the root of this whole thing. It's unfortunate to... Hmm, Yoruba people wake up. Buari and his people will finish you people too. <laughs> oh my God, see you, boy. <laughs> this is it's been, this, this, this whole thing is happening across the country. You are talking of Europe. What of the one happening in Southern Kaduna? You know, just, it's, all, it's just very funny with the statement of this particular person that <laughs> why we kill you people. <laughs> are, are people not, not dying in other regions? Yeah. Huh. They are reducing Southerners gradually. Hmm. You kill IPOP members who is not killing anyone, labeling them terrorists, but has men killing innocent people without any comment from the government. Why Buari? No, he has said it that uh, it is because of this, uh, the past leaders that, uh, that, 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 I don't even know what he was even talking about. It was just, the blame was just going on the past leaders, that the, the routes that these people do pass, they scatter everything, they this and that. So does that justify what they are doing? Like I said, even if it is not a, whatever cleansing you are talking about, it is not all about Christianity, then why the people that, uh, they are, they are, that are dying on a daily basis, are they not human beings? Does that justify their action? I don't just understand. I don't just get it. I hope Amotekun is not a paper tiger. A tiger at, at least they've started at Amoteku, uh in full force in that area. So why are we still having all of these things? When will this end? Ah, we don't know. Where is Amotekun? The SME will be granted amnesty thereafter. That is what they are doing. When, once they get to a, a very, you know, a, a, a stage, the, the next thing, just like the way they have, they have carved us, this a uh, operation safe corridor for this uh, Boko people. Ah, forget it. All this yes, man, they will soon get amnesty. Now, now, now. So, guys, uh, let us hear your opinion. Leave your comment below and let us have your take on this issue. Thank you.